Kia ora koutou katoa and welcome into session four here uh, tonight at the Hawke's Bay Regional Aquatic Centre live coverage of the Apollo Project's New Zealand Short Course Swimming Championships. Highlights from this morning's heat session, two New Zealand age group records, two New Zealand records and the age group one's coming with Jacob Story, Jacob Humphreys across the 14 and 15 year old age group. Some really fast uh, butterfly swims this morning from them. And then it carried through to the multi-class event where Charlotte Murphy and Asher Smith Franklin breaking their own New Zealand records in their uh, respective disability classes. So that was great to see this morning. Also Erica Fairweather in action for the first time since she's returned from Fukuoka and Summer Osborne as well. Erica very close to that New Zealand Open record over 200 free and I think it may fall tonight, we hope. Now looking ahead to the action in the pool tonight, the finals, 50 metres butterfly C, B and A finals for both men and women, followed by the multi-class uh, events as well. We've got two multi-class events, one the Paralympic pathway and the second races of an alternative pathway with some of those other disability classes. We then move to the 400 metres individual medley, C, B and A finals again, men and women. We break for the medal ceremony and come back with the 200 metres freestyle, uh, C, B and A final, men and women. That's where Erica Fairweather, Summer Osborne will be in action in that event. And then we finish with the 4 by 100 metre medley relays for both men and women. So I hope you enjoy the action. We'll be back after the short break for a special presentation. We would like to make a special presentation in recognition of one of our swimmers making their Aqua Black debut. I'd like to invite the coach of the swimmer to make this presentation, Graham Smith of St Paul's Swimming Club. We congratulate Laura Littlejohn on becoming Aqua Black 280 when debuting at the FINA World Champs in Budapest last year. Congratulations to Laura Littlejohn. And all the best for your swims tonight. We'll be back after the break to introduce our technical officials and get you underway with uh, session four. Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. We know a country where the food is bountiful and the wine is beautiful. Where the skies are big because the horizons are wide, so the warm, gentle landscape stretches out forever. A country where the food offering spans from pick your own to picking it up from a roadside stall or a farmer's market, to taking your pick from restaurant menus that are as good as anywhere in the world. And so is the wine. This is a country that will refresh you and recharge you and just make you feel a whole lot better about things. This country is food and wine country. But you might know it as Hawke's Bay. Welcome back to the Apollo Projects New Zealand Short Course Swimming Championships. We'd now like to uh, ask you to put your hands together and welcome our technical officials as they make their way onto pool deck. Referees for tonight's session four, Jackie Forsyth and Stu Woods. Starters, Ross Gillespie, Brent Harris. And your technical director for these championships is Ron Clark. 
Thank you, officials. Please be seated. We'll be back after this short break with the C final of the men's 50 metres butterfly. Welcome back. Uh, got the pleasure of Andrew Jeffcoat joining me for the first little part of this session. Andrew, you've obviously got the relay at the end, but uh, great to be. Are you making your commentary debut here, or have you joined me before, haven't you? Yeah, I think I've had a couple turns on the microphone before, and um, obviously a bunch of interviews as well. So uh, it's awesome to be able to get here and you know spin some yarns when when possible. Well, you've got some. Uh, you got to you know see how you can go against Erica. She did a pretty good job last night. Did a few interviews, so. Uh, might see if we can get you onto a, a couple of interviews as well, but um, you must be pretty happy with the 100 metre backstroke yesterday, 51-1. Not quite on your best, but uh, still firing pretty hard. Yeah, it was awesome to get there. Um, obviously, we've got a few more opportunities like tonight and as the week goes on to try and drop my time some more. Um, you know, it's just trying to, trying to build throughout the week and trying to be a, you know, a bit more professional day by day to get the result that we're after. Good stuff. All right, well, uh, we'll get underway with tonight's program. Uh, it is the C final of the men's 50 metres butterfly. Are we good? And I'll hand you over to the technical officials now to get us underway. Lane zero, Jacob Humphreys, one, Mitchell Herbley, two, Teva Gehan, three, Eli Ashby, four, Joseph Cotiardi, five, David Zhu, six, Zach Alexander, seven, Josh Ames, eight, Blake Elliott, nine, Tom Drever. Yeah, it was an awesome first lap there from David Zhu. He got his hand to the wall first, and he's just head down to the wall, had a little breath there. Very close indeed. Uh, who was it? It was Joshua Ames that gets there first, lane seven. 25.16, and just looking at the program here, yep, he's gone a point three faster, a really good result for Josh Amies. Yeah, it was an awesome second 25 there, he had brilliant underwaters, he wasn't first to the wall, but he definitely made sure he, he worked it when he got there, uh, it was great to see a great finish, just head down, and perfectly timed at the end there. Coming on to pool deck now is the B finalist of the men's 50 metres butterfly, Expert comments by Andrew Jeffcoat, World Championship representative, seventh in the world in the 50 metres backstroke. And uh, the B final getting ready to go. Zero, Joel Crampton, one, Brendan Visser, two, Oliver Mowat, three, uh, Kiha Desbordes, four, William Seymour, five, Sam Kenny, six, Kale Twist, seven, Tom Gold, eight, William Campbell, nine, Henry Williams. Yeah, good to see a few veterans in the field here getting up against the young boys. It looks like a battle in the middle of the field, but you can't take your eyes off the outside lanes here as well. 
Lane two it was, Oliver Mowat, he was disappointed with that time this morning and he'll be a bit more, a bit happier this evening. 24-7-0 for the win of the B final. A 25-1 this morning, 24-7 this evening. That's a good result for Oliver Mowat. Yeah, good swim from Ollie there. I know he works hard down at St Paul's. Uh, nice kid as well. So he won the... How old is the chap? He's, uh, he's 16. He won the 16-year-old title this morning and at the B final tonight. Now we move to the A final of the men's 50 metres butterfly. Introducing the swimmers to you now. Lane zero, Jacob Storey. Lane one, Hugo Rothel. Lane two, McAllister Clark. Lane three, Carter Swift. Lane four, Christopher Ilson. Lane five, Jack Hendy. Lane six, Cooper Morley. Lane seven, Wilrick Kutzeer. Eight, Alex Odom. And lane nine, Kokoro Frost. Beautiful start from all the boys there. Let's see who pops up first. It looks like Swift in lane three. We got Christopher Elson beside him. He's going to be strong and powerful. It's going to be all about this underwater on the way home. Carter Swift goes through first. He is determined to win this one. Carter Swift. Big challenges coming in the middle of the pool. It's going to be anyone's. They go to the wall. Carter Swift gets there. 23.55. The Sprint King. Christopher Ilson just outside second. Jack Hendy takes third. Nothing in it there, Andrew. He has a beautiful swim by Carter. He was the first up on both turns, so maybe he needs to work on his underwaters a bit more, but he's big and powerful enough to be able to get his hand on the wall first. Yeah, great job. Carter still be looking up for him in the 100 metres freestyle and the 50 metre freestyle later in the week, but in the end, quite convincing there. Timed that perfectly to the wall and another half stroke for the rest of them to get there. That is the men's A final 50 metres butterfly. And we'll catch a word with uh, Carter Swift. And Andrew Jeffcoat's going to uh, do a post race interview with his uh, fellow world champ representative. All right, mate, beautiful swim there. Uh, how does it feel second day back in the water after a big couple of weeks in Japan? Yeah, not bad. I think that was my uh, second training session for the week, so I'll take it. <laughs> so what's the goal for the rest of, you, uh, for the rest of the week? Uh, do you think you're going to be able to get up and get a couple more uh, national titles? Uh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm just, just having fun with the boys, really. There's nothing, uh, no, not much pressure on it. Just enjoy myself. Beautiful. You look good there. Uh, we definitely need to work on your underwaters when we're back at home, but um, you're nice and strong into the wall. How do you feel you went uh, on, the, on the second lap there? Yeah, it was a little bit rushed. I would have liked to be a bit smoother, but uh, I'm happy to get my hand on the wall first. Beautiful work, mate. Get in warm down, and I'll see you in the relay. Well, here we go. That was... Uh 
getting the reaction there from Carter Swift on that win. We're going to move now to the next event on the program. It is event 107. The men's 50 metre butterfly multi-class. And we introduce the swimmers to you now. Lane 2, Kuda Tafai. Lane 3, James Hayden. Lane four, Asher Smith-Franklin. Lane five, Bailey Conlon. Lane six, Guy Harrison. And Asher Smith Franklin, away he goes in this 50 metres butterfly. He got the New Zealand record this morning at 27.27. Smashed his uh, original New Zealand record by half a second. Let's have a look at it. 25, 20. Wow, look at this. 26.83 for Asher Smith Franklin. He's a happy man. Don't often see that sort of reaction from Asher. That is first time under 27. He's taken nearly a second off his New Zealand record in one day. And let's have a look at the rest of the times. Bailey Conlon also doing a great swim. Guy Harrison, 36.62. And uh, we'll catch a word with Asher now. Congratulations, Asher. Uh, I can tell by the smashing of the water that that one was a pretty good one, eh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Under 27 for the first time. You've taken your New Zealand record down by almost a second in one day. What did you do differently tonight? That was amazing. Uh, just got off the side and take less breaths on that first 25. Less breaths than the first 25. That's certainly something else everyone else can uh, take, a, take a lesson from as well down that first length really quickly to come back. 26.83, well done, congratulations. Well, we move now to the next event on the program. It is event 12. The women's 50 metres butterfly and coming on to pool deck now are the C finalists. No, I'm sorry, we're going to event 207. Apologies. Introducing lane two, Joseph Blake. Lane three, Thomas McGill. Lane four, Denver Xavier. Five, Joel Watkins. And lane six, Luca Willems.
Fantastic to see these guys giving it a crack this time over two lengths butterfly. And interesting, Andrew, that comment before from Asher about no less press than that first 25. That is what it took to get that New Zealand record. Yeah, of course. You could see he's really been working on his um, hypoxic work there. Um, he did good underwaters off the start and off the turn. Uh, you can see here it's a close finish. And who was it? It was the win for Joel Watkins in the S19. Well done to Joel. And we wait for the S18 category to come in. So third for Thomas McGill in S19. And it is Luca Willems who will win the S18. And we'll catch a word with uh, Joel Watkins, the winner. Here with Joel, congratulations. 50 metre butterfly, are you happy with that time? Oh yeah, that was actually a really good time for me. That's awesome, and that's your second win of the championships. Uh, tell us a little about where, where you train, your coach and your support crew. Oh, I train down at uh, the Pukakoi Swim Club uh, with like Jim and that, and they've always really been helpful to me, yeah. You got anyone you want to say hello to or thank on the camera here? Oh yeah, last time I didn't get a chance to say thanks to many people. Uh, so I just want to say thanks to my sister and uh, Luke down there, he wanted a shout out as well. Good on you Joel, congratulations on another win, well done. And we've got Luca here, Luca Willems, second win for you in the S18 category, that's awesome. Now what time, are you happy with your time tonight? Um, I did, I, I'm amazing today. Amazing today, and uh, what other swims have you got? Have you got any other swims tonight? Um, maybe t tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, congratulations on another win, and all the best for the rest of your champs. Thank okay, you, and thanks for my sister is coming out as well, and my parents, my mom and dad are watching the live, and uh, thank you, I, I left my sister Kia. Well done, Luca, a big shout out to his uh, sister and his parents watching at home, good on you. Move now to the C final of the women's 50 metres butterfly. They're beside the blocks and ready to go. Away we go, lane zero, Anya Moritz, one, Lola Nichols, two, Melissa Cowan, three, Deontil Vido, four, Poppy Henderson, five, Lucy Price, six, Lola Lowry, seven, Ray Kwan, eight, Samantha Wilson, nine, Lucy Abbott. Awesome race here, you could throw a blanket across the field, but it looks like lane four is coming through the fastest. All in the finish, 28-1-6. Awesome swim from Poppy Henderson there. Henderson takes the win in the C final. Melissa Cowan sneaks in for the second place from lane two. And out come the B finalists of the women's 50 metre butterfly.
Zero, Anahita Martin. One, Savannah Eve Martin. Two, Jashana Mazumda. Three, Grace Bake. Four, Riley McBride. Five, Chloe Peters. Six, Mia McDonald. Seven, Ruby Matthews. Eight, Annie Jenkova. Nine, Georgina Bell. Pretty flat across the field coming down to the final 12 and a half metres. Looks to me it's going to be lane four. I think Riley McBride is just going to sneak in for the win. She does. 28.06. Andrew, how important is that start in these 50 metre events these days? Yeah, start. If you can get to the 15 quick enough, then you've got a good chance of winning the race. Um, obviously, you can you know, come back from it, but, but if you've got good momentum into the turn, it's going to make all the difference into how you can finish. Is that, an act, is that an active part of training in terms of reaction time and actually spending time on the block? Yeah, definitely. We do probably three or four sessions a week where we purely focus on the starts and getting the 15 metres the quickest. Um, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a large part of most races, especially as you get to the top level. Nice insights here from Andrew Jeffcoat, uh, one of our Aquablacks. There's the final of the Bs, and we're going to move now to introduce the A finalists for the women's 50 metres butterfly. In lane zero, Brooke Swan. Lane one, Zoe Pedersen. Lane two, Ismay Patterson. Lane three, Milan Glintmeyer. Lane four, Helena Gasson. Five, Paige Schindler Kemp. Six, Isabella Muldoon. Seven, Liv Peebles. Eight, Rebecca Moynihan. Nine, Sarah Wilson. Great swim from Helena Gasson this morning. She sits in lane four, the New Zealand record holder. Away she goes down the first length. She takes the lead into the 25 metre. 11.92 down that first half. Let's see how she comes off the turn. Great underwater work for Helena Gasson. Look at that, a body length lead over Paige Schindler Kemp. Schindler Kemp holding on for silver at the moment. Who's going to get the bronze? It might be lane one. It is Zoe Pedersen. The 15-year-old gets the bronze. That's a great swim. Yeah, awesome swim from Helena. You could see on her turn, she timed it perfectly. Also, a special mention to Paige. I don't know if a lot of people know this. She had a pretty major eye injury a couple months ago. So for her to be back up and in fifth. Also, the young girl, uh, Milan, getting up beside the big girls in that final, is a, that's a pretty incredible achievement. And we uh, wish her well at the World Juniors in a, in a couple months' time. So that's 16-year-old Zoe Pedersen getting sneaking in for the bronze from lane one there. We'll catch a word with uh, Helena Gasson. Congratulations, another swim, another title, Helena. Your reaction? Um, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. Just another win for Coast. <laughs> another win for Coast. 25-8, beautiful underwater work, down pretty quickly. No real threat in that field for you, so really just swimming for speed, swimming for your best time. Yeah, I mean, it is definitely just 
was trying to get to my best time, but I mean, my power right now is a little bit off, and that just comes with time out of the pool and time out of the gym. Well, congratulations on another, uh, another title, and uh, are you in a relay tonight? Yep, leading off in the backstroke. Let's do it. Go coast. We'll be back after this break with the next events on the program. Hope you enjoy the action. Welcome back. Apollo Projects New Zealand Short Course Swimming Championships next event on the program is event 108, the women's 50 metres butterfly multi-class. In lane three, Charlotte Murphy. Lane four, Erin Knox. And lane five, Ella Ben. Charlotte Murphy in lane three, the New Zealand record holder in S6. She did a 58.95 this morning and broke her own New Zealand record. Uh, away, Ella Ben and Aaron Knox go down the pool. They'll be looking for some PBs tonight. And uh, their times from this morning, 35.98 for Aaron Knox in lane four. And Ella Ben, 36.82, pretty close at the moment to come to the wall. Great job, and some slight improvements for both swimmers there, swimming faster than the heats. Good job. And let's see if uh, Charlotte Murphy can get through to another New Zealand record here. It was 58.05 actually. Oh, let's we'll wait for that result to come up. Fifty-eight five four, just uh, a tad slower than this morning. Well done to our multi-class women. Another win, another title, another good time. Ella, are you happy with that performance? 
Yeah, I was really putting it in to try to keep up with Aaron, so I was really happy when I turned around and saw that time. I could see that, actually. Tell us a little bit about your training environment, you know, in terms of how many times you train, are you doing some dry land? Um, yeah, I've been focusing more on gym work recently, just trying to get strength up. Um, I've also been training a lot in the gym with my best mate, Chloe, who's also my teammate. So we're having fun with that as well. What do you do outside of swimming? Are you studying? Are you at school? What's happening? Uh, literally just work in uni. I don't have much time for anything else. Good work. Well, it's paying off at the moment, that attitude we were talking about last night. Good job. All the best. Thank you. And we'll be back after this break with the men's 400 metres individual medley. And your living arrangements, is it with, uh, are you flatting, are you with the other swimmers, are you at home? Yeah, I'm currently with a bunch of schoolmates, uh, which is awesome, so that gives me a bit of a, a break from the swimmers. I spent a few years with some of the boys back when we were at, you know, in Pukekohe and then as we moved up to Auckland. Um, so yeah, some of them are still living together now, but it's nice to be able to get yourself away from swimming environment when you can. Not getting sucked into too many of those parties at the flat? Nah, maybe soon, but not normally. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look at the action here. See final men's 400 metres individual medley. It is lane five, Alex Willis, the 17 year old, currently leading them down the breaststroke leg. Yeah, it's awesome to see in these 400 IMs the di different disciplines coming through. You can see the breaststrokers when they really take off when they get to that leg. Um, obviously, it's a lot different when you're doing the the 100 and the 200 but in the 400 you can really show your show your uh, what you're good at 
Kinnan broke who's in the Hamilton Aquatic Swimmer in lane one is uh, doing pretty well. He's sitting second at the moment. The visitor from Tasmania, lane four, Ali Jones sitting second. Liam Rees, Nicholas Cowan. Nicholas Cowan starting to come up now, talking about strengths in the IM. This is his, the breaststroke. Uh, the younger brother of Melissa Cowan, breaststroke running in the family. It'll be interesting to see here if anybody's gone out too hard. You can really tell in the freestyle their arms will start to tighten up, but it looks like in lane five, it looks like he has control, Alex Willis. Everybody else is going to have to try and do their best to really push through those, those burnt out legs and try and bring home the solid time. Sixty metres to swim here for Alex Willis. And looking at his uh, time from this morning, 4.48.59. And uh, we're looking at some of the times, because uh, Tipaki, he did that 4.52. He had a smashing swim this morning to win the 13-year-old boys. And we'll see how he goes against his 4.52 as well. Here comes Alex Willis to win the C final of the 400-meter individual medley, 4.37. Boy, that's 11 seconds under his time from this morning. That's a great night swim. And Nicholas Cowan coming in for second there, Kiwis from lane seven. Uh, he's gone six seconds faster than this morning. So great to see all those green times on the, on the board live here in the venue. Yeah, it's always good to see a bunch of green across the board. Everybody, you know, showing their, their toughness and bringing it home hard. You know, obviously the legs are hurting, the lungs are burning, but, you know, they're, they're big enough and strong enough to be able to bring it home when it matters. Well, Andrew Jeffcoat, thanks for joining me. I know you've got to take off now to prepare for the relays at the end of the programme, but been uh, been fantastic to uh, have, a, have a chat to you this evening. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Next up, the B final of the men's 400 metres individual medley. Zero, Osbert Gu, one, Joel Verin, two, Jack Love, three, Malik Amon, four, Daniel Craigting, five, Ethan Buchanan, six, Mitchell Hickey, seven, Nathan Walker, eight, Charles Heathcote, and nine, Henry Guy.
Ethan Buchanan, lane five, leading this B final at the moment over Mitchell Hickey, the visitor. Over there in lane three, another one of our visitors, uh, Malik Amin. And Jack Love alongside him. So two visitors in the field here and both swimming strongly at the moment in six and three. Final 50 now for Ethan Buchanan. And Ethan at Daniel Craigting. And looking at the time for Ethan Buchanan from this morning, 4.39.49. And he's going to absolutely smash that tonight. Ethan Buchanan winning the B final. 4.34.47. The visitors will get second and third, but it'll be lane seven. Nathan Walker second to the wall for the Kiwis. And look at that good swim from lane one. Joel Verin for third to the wall for the Kiwis in the B final. Next up, the A final of the men's 400 metres individual medley. There's the result from the B final. Convincing win by Ethan Buchanan over the next of the Kiwis, Nathan Walker. Introducing swimmers now in lane zero, Hamish Giddens. Lane one, Nemanja Makovic. Lane two, Ariel Machirahondo. Three, Sam Brown. Lane four, Louis Clark. Lane five, Blake Faliafa. Lane six, Blair Helms. Seven, Joshua Tuasuta. Eight, Luke Gibson. Nine, Curtis Melsop.
Well, again, a mixture of the age groups and the open men in this A final. Ariel Mochirohondo, the fastest of the 14 year olds. Nemanja Makovic and Amish Giddens, the 15 year olds, in one and two. Louis Clark at 22 years of age in the lane four. He was the fastest at 4.23.82. And it's Blair Helms that uh, takes them out through the first 50. And Blair Helms, uh, a 2.09, 200 metre breaststroke earlier in the champs. Sam Brown from Coast moved from Capital to Coast. You've probably noticed that on his cap. And Sam Brown now deciding it's his time. He moves into pole position in this A final. Beautiful backstroke, Sam Brown. He's going to have to watch Blair Helms here. The breaststroke. Louis Clark obviously got that huge distance base here to really bring it home. Blake Faliafa winning his age this morning. Nice rating here from Sam Brown. Turns into the breaststroke leg. Blair Helms will follow. The 200 metre breaststroker. Chasing hard. Louis Clark looking strong in the breaststroke. Will this be a national title for Sam Brown? Too early to say, perhaps. Definitely some ground being made up by Blair Helms here. Louis Clark holding on to third at the moment. Blake Foliafa, the 17-year-old, in fourth. Ariel Machirahondo, the 14-year-old, in fifth. From lane two, doing a great job, Machirahondo. Can we get a New Zealand age group record out of him tonight? And holding off Blair Helms, Sam, Sam Brown turns into the freestyle for home. 100 metres to swim. The two North Shore swimmers chasing down Sam Brown from coast. Breathing off to the right, having a good look across the pool, Sam Brown. Louis Clark starting to put the foot down, chasing his teammate Blair Helms. Has a sneaky little look over. I think Louis Clark's going to take, take Blair Helms here. And he's chasing down Sam Brown fast. Louis Clark coming strongly. Louis Clark powering it. Sam Brown, I think he knows how close it is. Brown's going to get there just for the win. 4.13.55. Great swims by these three swimmers. 4.13.55. And let's have a look at the time for Machirohondo. 4.28. New New Zealand age group record for Ariel Machirohondo. And that is a record that has stood for 16 years. A 16-year-old New Zealand age group record in lane two. And a great job, national title for Sam Brown. And we'll catch a word with uh, Sam Brown very shortly.
And we'll get a word with Ariel. Ariel, we'll get a word with you as well if you can make your way over. Here was Sam Brown, the title holder, the winner, 413. Sam, got a smile on your face. Uh, that was a tough one. Oh, man. That event is the hardest event you could ever do. <laughs> 413, that time, you happy with that? Um, yeah, for now I am. I haven't been really working on 4 at the moment. I'm kind of going back just to single strokes. So I'm not any IM switches lately with Michael at Coast. But, yeah, I'm happy with it for how I'm swimming at the moment. Louis Clark storming home in that 100. Could you sort of sense the, the gap was closing? Yeah, I always knew that was going to happen. He's a big back-end swimmer. That's why I had to go out fast, get the biggest lead I could, and just hold on. Well, nice to have the national title over 400 aim. Congratulations. Thanks, Scott. Here with Ariel Machirahondo. Congratulations, 428. I watch you this morning. Look at this crowd. Give them a big clap, ladies and gentlemen. What a swim. How do you feel? I feel really good. I didn't expect to go 428, but I just wanted to come in and see what I could do. 4.31 this morning, just agonisingly close to that record, but uh, to break one that's been held for 16 years must be happy. What was, what was some, of the, some of the things you did tonight that lifted you? Uh, I made sure to go faster in the second 50 of my fly because I kind of held back a little bit on that one. And we've been working on the breaststroke a lot in training for my IM, so I made sure to push that as hard as I could. And I knew that tonight I could go a lot faster if I just had a big rest and recovered. Well, you're mixing with the big boys, and you're absolutely, uh, you were right there. So well done, Ariel Machirahondo. <laughs> Moving now to the women's 400 metres individual medley, and beside the block is the C finalists. It's a strong start here by Marina Nadillo in lane two. She's got a full body length lead over the swimmers in five and seven. That's Holly Nelson and Annabelle Grenfell.
So looking at the times from this morning, Marina Nadillo, she swam a 520.27, just starting to get caught now by Nelson and Grenfell, and pretty even across as they change over into the breaststroke leg, halfway through the C final, the women's 400 metres individual medley. Second half of the breaststroke leg of this 400 metres individual medley. And now we see lane six, Hannah King, start to come through with her strong breaststroke. Very even, actually. Lane zero, one, two, three, one and two. Pretty close. This is an impressive breaststroke leg here from Hannah King in lane six. One and a half body length she's made, maybe even two over this hundred. And she'll turn for home, has a good look over, no one there. Hannah King from Aqua Gym in Canterbury. And she did a time of 5.18.17 this morning. Being chased by Holly Nelson in five. Very smooth freestyle, slightly slower rate, but obviously pulling some good water through. Hannah King, she has maintained her advantage and coming quickly in lane zero, Mei Ying Reynolds. Mei Ying Reynolds is having a good swim out there in zero. She might just snap second here. And a win there, 5.09 for Hannah King. That's a nine second improvement. And then over there, Mei Ying Reynolds, 5.12. She did a 5.24 this morning. So that's a fantastic swim from uh, Reynolds over there. And that concludes the C final for the women's 400 metres individual medley. Coming to pool deck is the B finalists. And joining me in commentary for the next few races is Aquablack Helena Gasson. So we'll get a few extra expert comments and insights from her over this B final and A final before she has to tear off to do her warm up for the relay. The B final, zero Zoe Wilkinson, one Heidi Ace, two Deontel Vido, three Olivia Bates, four Ariel Riley, five Kate Hurley, six Alina Wong, seven Jamie Fisher, eight Ava Wilson, 
and night nine, Kate Cowan. Here with Helena Gass in Aqua Black and uh, just back from Fukuoka of the Aqu uh, World Aquatics Championships. And Helena, this is your New Zealand record uh, held at 432.48. What's that one? That's three years ago, but you were saying not one you swim regularly anymore. Yeah, no, this was a race that I swam with ISL and needed to do it for our team. And I don't think that I have the, the mental capability to do it anymore. That's fair enough. You don't have to have it. It's fine. I totally understand. And uh, in terms of it is a medley, in terms of the training these swimmers need to do, you've got to be masterful in all of the four strokes. Does that become a huge part of, uh, you know, training every week that you're swapping around the strokes and doing changes, going, you know, going into your backstroke breaststroke and then your breaststroke freestyle? Yeah, it requires a lot of training. You've got to train at least a session on each stroke and then you've got to do base freestyle work, sprint each stroke, and you've got to do switching sessions as well. So it's, it's a lot to do uh, medley. Yeah, it's kind of, I guess you could compare it. You think about a triathlon, you're swapping between the three disciplines and the muscle groups. The muscle group's quite important too. You're swapping between the muscle groups. Yeah, it takes about 30 seconds to um, have your muscles switch between strokes, so that's really important to train to be able to bring that down. It's more important for the shorter IMs, but just as important for the 400. So let's see where they're all at. At the moment it is uh, Kate Hurley, lane five, a name often uh, mentioned and quite often on the podium. Kate Hurley. She leads the charge at the moment. And Helena, in terms of if, if your best stroke was backstroke, is that the stroke you should be kind of uh, conserving energy on for the strokes perhaps to come that you're not so good at? Or, or would you power, power everything you've got into that stroke that you, you favour? There's definitely two ways that you can do it with your stronger strokes. You can either save your energy for a weaker stroke or you can use your strength to get distance before you hit your weaker stroke. I personally use my stronger strokes to my advantage just to be out there so that I can have time and distance when it is on my weaker strokes. Helena Gass and Aqua Black joining me in commentary across this 400 aim, which is quite fitting because it's her New Zealand record at 432. Kate Hurley is leading, now getting challenged by lane six and seven, Alina Wong and Jamie Fisher. Halfway through the breaststroke, 150 metres to swim. And breaststroke certainly takes it out of you. It's a dominant leg, leg action. So, and then freestyle changing to more upper body. And uh, Helena, what are you seeing out there? Is there anything sort of interesting you can see across the field at the moment? I think it's going to come down to a very interesting freestyle leg. We're going to see whoever girl has saved their legs for the freestyle and it should be a, quite a sprint finish. Kate Hurley touches and out there in lane one, that is Heidi Ace. She's done well. She sits in second. Jamie Fisher is also in a good position. Olivia Bates from Hamilton. Sorry, Ariella Riley from Hamilton. This is where it really starts to hurt. They've got to really concentrate on their skills, their technique over this last 50. Ariella Riley takes this moment to put her foot down in the second to last 25. Ar Ariella Riley takes the lead with 25 to go in this B final. And a good swim here in lane three by Olivia Bates who's holding on tough. She'll take second to the wall. And fast finishing, Alina Wong will get their third.
So quite an interesting race there, lots of lead changes and couldn't pick it right till the final 50. Gutsy performance there by Ariel O'Reilly. Moving now to the A final of the women's 100 metres individual medley. Introducing the swimmers to you now in lane zero, Alex Campion. Lane one, Talita McEwen. Lane two, Amelia Finer. Lane three, our visitor, Lexi Harrison. Four, Gina McCarthy. Five, our visitor, Jacinta Isam. Six, Charlie Twos. Seven, Zylika Pratt-Smith. Lane eight, Maya Adams. And nine, Freya Hingston. Away we go, Gina McCarthy. She's won this title a number of times over the last few years. And our visitor in lane three, Lexi Harrison, is taking them through the first 50. Zalika Pratt-Smith from Coast, not far behind. She touches second. Now short course, Helena, uh, you love your short course, but this is, you've got to really concentrate on these changeovers, these turns, don't you, to get, not only make sure you're technically doing them correctly to avoid disqualification, but you're getting maximum sort of push off these walls. Yeah, we saw at World Champs a couple of weeks ago that there were quite a few disqualifications on the changeovers. So it is really important that the girls focus on them and make sure they're done legally. But also the underwater work, especially short course, is super crucial. If you could save your arms for the end of the race, then it's really important to work your underwater. Helena Gasson joining me to commentate this event before she makes her way to warm up for the relays later this evening. And it is all locked up in the middle of the pool, lanes three through five. It's the two. Two visitors flanking Gina McCarthy. And Gina is a strong backstroker and breaststroker. In fact, there's not too much weakness in her four strokes. You just see the difference between the ratings there of lane three and four. Just a little bit higher there from our visitor, Lexi Harrison. Beautiful stroke, nice still head position, and away she goes into the breaststroke. Gina McCarthy, a very handy over 200 metre breaststroke. Yeah, we saw Gina get the silver in the 200 breaststroke last night. Also out in lane seven is Ailika, the winner of the 200 breast, so we would expect to see her move up a little bit throughout the breaststroke leg. Yeah, 2.25 last night for Zalika Pratt-Smith. She was almost surprised. She hadn't done too many of them, but it's great to see that she's got that real strong endurance base to 
bring home that turn of breaststroke and here she comes, Ilika Pratt-Smith in seven. She's going to really make, want to make some ground up here. Gina McCarthy has taken half a body length out of her Australian swimmers any the side of her. And nice to see these uh, international teams coming over to get some race experience here at the New Zealand short course. And McCarthy, she's away in the 100 metres freestyle. Zylika sitting in second for the Kiwis at the moment. Third, let's have a look. I think it's Charlie Twos. It's a coast 2-3 here at the moment. But could be challenged by Alex Campion in lane zero. Gina McCarthy, 50 metres to go here to win this outright. Women's A final of the 400 IM. This is nice to have these visitors here getting pushed and uh, Jacinta Isim is really starting to challenge now. Great to push Gina along all the way to the end. She did a 4.42.8 this morning. Just battling she gets there, 4.39.43. A great win for Gina McCarthy. Zylika Pratt-Smith, 4.48. Big improvement from this morning, 4.56. And Charlie Toos gets there for the bronze for the Kiwis. Freya Hingston coming through to conclude this A final. Well done to all of the girls there in the field. We'll catch a word with Gina McCarthy shortly. Gina, first time this champs, congratulations. Uh, pushed all the way to the end by the Aussies, but uh, come under sub 40, 440, that was a good one, right? Yeah, yeah, um, I, I do wish it was a little bit faster, um, but I mean, I can't be too upset with a PB, so yeah. Can you, before you go back to the coach and look at, look at the sort of drawings and the, and the stats, but can you kind of figure out where, which part of that event you would have liked to have sort of pushed a little harder? Um, I'm sure the butterfly because I always need to do a bit better in the butterfly and also probably the backstroke because I think my rating might have been a bit low from the start so yeah maybe a bit more work in that. Tell us what's been going on in your life at the moment training personal stuff you know you uh, what's been happening? Um, well in training I've been doing a lot of butterfly practice um, and we've always some long course of doing 1050s fly it's been pretty tough for me definitely um, and then in life, just been working and studying as well, yeah. Well, congratulations on a win, Gina. All the best for your relays coming up. And uh, we'll be back after this break with uh, a bit of a wrap of the session so far and our medal presentations.
Well, we're halfway through this session number four, and uh, the highlights for me so far, Asher Smith-Franklin smashing his 50 butterfly New Zealand record for the second time today. Almost the second under his New Zealand record that he did uh, before this meet, so that was an uh, amazing swim for him. And uh, some amazing swims across the 50 butterfly and 400 IM. Ariel Machirahondo, that 14-year-old New Zealand age group record held for 16 years, broken tonight in the A final of the men's 400 metres individual medley. We'll be back after the break with the medal ceremonies and then we'll get into the 200 metre freestyles. Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. Welcome back to the Apollo Projects New Zealand Short Course Swimming Championships live from the Hawke's Bay Regional Aquatic Centre. The first of our medal presentations tonight. We start with the A final of the 50 metre butterfly for men. And bronze medalist Jack Hendy, Club 37, 23.77. Presenting medals, Merrick McFarland, life member of Swimming New Zealand. Silver, Christopher Ilson, Vikings, 23.73 and winning the gold. Carter Swift, Club 37, 23.55. Medal ceremony sponsor, All Proof Industries. Next up, 50 Butterfly for Men, multi-class. Bronze medalist, Guy Harrison, Hedatonga Sun Devils, 36.62. Silver, Bailey Conlon, Tiarua, 30.69. And winning the gold and a new New Zealand record time from North Shore, Asher Smith-Franklin, 26.83. We'll move now to just a short break before we kick into the next medal ceremony. And uh, this is our S19 category. And it is Joseph Blake winning the silver. Good man, Joseph. And Luca Willems wins the gold. Good on you guys. Happy campers, so they should be. And uh, I think we've got the S18, or the S19, sorry, I mixed that up. That's Tom McGill. He wins the bronze. That's Denver Zavier winning the silver, 30.19. And Joel Watkins wins the gold, 29.68. Moving now to the medal ceremony of the women's 50 butterfly A final. Bronze medalist Zoe Pedersen, Coast, 27.38. Silver from Pukekohe, Paige Shendela Kemp, 26.92. And winning the gold, Helena Gasson, Coast, 25.86. Women's 50 Butterfly Multi-Class. Charlotte Murphy, 
wins the bronze from Equigym. Silver, Erin Knox, 35.81, Swim Zone Racing. And winning the gold, Ella Ben, 36.13 from Selwyn. Four hundred IM A final bronze Blair Helms four fifteen seventy one from North Shore. Louis Clark wins the silver from North Shore four fourteen twenty four. And winning the gold from Coast Sam Brown four thirteen fifty five. Now to the women's 400 individual medley final. Third place, there's two of them. Charlie Two's Coast, 457.03. And Lexi Harrison, our visitor from ACU Blacktown Swim Club, 440.20. Silver medals. Go to Jacinta Isam, our visitor, 439.80, and Zalika Pratt Smith, Coast, 448.51. And winning, Gina McCarthy, 439.43 from Hamilton Aquatics. Medals presented by Mary McFarlane, Life Member of Swimming New Zealand. Well, that concludes the first of the medal ceremonies for tonight. We'll be back after the break with the C-final of the men's 200 metres freestyle. Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. Lane zero is Oxford Bailey, one Luke Kugeline, two William Seymour, three Ariel Macho Hondo, four Luke O'Connor, five Hamish Giddens, six Dieter Bassini, seven Kalar Hall, eight Josh Carroll and nine Jacob Humphreys.
And a good swim there to win the C final Kalar Hall. Our visitor first to the Kiwis home, Luke O'Connor in lane four. Next up, the B final of the men's 200 metres freestyle. Lane zero, Jack Potier. One, Alex Esposito. Two, Eli Ashby. Three, Joshua Ames. Four, Angus Blair. Five, Ollie Lutton. Six, Henry Williams. Seven, Nick Close. Eight, Bryn Drummond. And nine, it is Samuel Nadler, our visitor. Joshua Amy's doing a good job in three, and uh, he's swimming at the moment with Alex Esposito in one. And there's a good swim by Joshua Ames here. A 152 in the program. He's done a 151 there. He wins it, the B final. And looking ahead to our A final here, we've got a good showdown in the middle lanes. Entry times this morning. One. 44 for Ben Liljohn, he had a great heat. Uh, that New Zealand record held at 143. 143.68, he was the second outside of that. Zach Reed is the second of the qualifiers and the other Zach, Zach Dell on the other side of him. They'll be coming out shortly, just making a, sh a few small adjustments to the competition pool here. And still to come, the 4x100 metre medley relay for both men and women. We've got uh, three time finals for the men, two for the women. And looking ahead to that women's 200 metres freestyle. Erica Fairweather featuring in lane four, a 154.97. She was, let's have a look at that... Uh, that New Zealand record, it is held at 154.24. So she was just 0.65 of a second or so outside of that New Zealand record, which is held by herself. And that was done last year in Melbourne in December. Caitlin Deans will be on our outside. Summer Osborne, uh, both of those swimmers representing New Zealand at the Aquatic World Championships last month. So it'll be hard to see anyone uh, take down Erica Fairweather tonight, but uh, who knows?
So great to see a number of uh, over 600 swimmers taking part in this uh, Apollo Projects New Zealand short course. Of course, the inclusion of the age group uh, as well has helped boost the numbers, but great to see them coming back after COVID. And of course, we've got the signing session on Saturday between at four o'clock, uh, the signing session. So if you if you've, uh, know any kids and families or interested kids around the Hawke's Bay that are keen to come and meet and greet the Aquablacks, then that's the time, four o'clock in the foyer here at the Aquatic Centre for the signing session. It was a roaring success last year, or earlier this year when we did it. Um, and so look forward to seeing that again. And now I think uh, we've got everything sorted. We'll now introduce you to the A finalists of the 200 metres freestyle. Lane zero, Joel Crampton. Lane one, Kale Twist. Lane two, Louis Clark. Lane three, Zach Dell. Lane four, Ben Littlejohn. Lane five, Zach Reed. Lane six, Brendan Visser. Lane seven, Tyler Tapper. Lane eight, Nael Rue. Lane nine, Samuel Potching. Beautiful start by Ben Littlejohn in lane four, but trumping him in lane three at the moment, Zach Dell, he is known for going out quickly. Zach Dell takes him through the first 25, but already Ben Littlejohn has got back into the lead now. Zach Reed keeping in touch here in lane five. Nice start in lane one there by Kale Twist. And out here in lane six, Brendan Visser. In 07, I should say, Tyler Tapper. Ben Littlejohn leads by half a body length. Zach Reed, reeling to heaven to put the pace in in the first 100. They turn at 50.59. Will we see a New Zealand record tonight? Zach Reed powering down the third 50 here. Zach Reed using this third 50 to get right back on the shoulder of Ben Littlejohn. Now he turns to look. He's going to have to really put it in now. Zach Reed and Ben Littlejohn. Who's got the goods in the final 50? Littlejohn's not willing to let the lead go. They breathe away from each other. Zach Dell still holding on. Little John comes out. Reed and Little John with 12 and a half to go. This is going to be close. It's going to come down to the touch. Wow, it's Little John by one one hundredth of a second. Man, I could feel the hurt from here. 145-14, 145-15, and Zach Dell, great time third, 146-27. Kept in touch the whole way through. I think it was Louis Clark sitting in fourth. Well, now that's an exciting race, that one.
came down to the wire, both of them putting their heads down, not breathing that final five, just bearing the head for the wall, did everything right. And uh, we'll catch a word with Ben Littlejohn shortly. Well, Ben, giving you a chance to catch your breath. I'm sure you're still absolutely ruined by that. But 1-100th, uh, it's a win's a win, mate. How are you feeling? Yeah, no, you're, you're right about that. A win is a win. So I've got to be pleased about that. A little disappointed to follow up a good morning swim with perhaps a subpar performance, but I'm pleased to get the win out of it. 1.44.8 this morning. Um, I was hoping we could have seen a New Zealand record tonight. But uh, hey, mate, you had a quality field in there. You really had to use your tactics to get through. You could sense, I'm sure, you could see how close it was. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I was, I normally go out really strong. I, I, I like to take the lead in the field. Um, and the guys were right there with me at the 100. So there was a moment really, I really had to dig in, get, get in there, um, and enjoy the race. It showed some real grit in that final 25, Ben. Tell us about your journey. You're now um, studying over in the States. Uh, yeah, so I'm a... Just finished my second year at uh, Harvard with the, the team over there, so it's been a wonderful journey. Um, it's really been excellent to take my swimming, use it as a vehicle to explore the world, um, unlock a whole bunch of great opportunities and really get the most out of it. Good on you, Ben. Look forward to seeing more of your progress uh, as the champs continue. Well done. Moving now to the C-final of the women's 200 metres freestyle. final of the women's 200 metres freestyle. Annie Jenkova in zero, Sophie Hay in one, Taylor Brock the visitor in two, Brooke Miles in three, Amelia Finer in four, Sarah Jameson in five, Amelia Black in six, Olivia Sweetman in seven, Holly McDonald in eight and Neve Tasica in nine. C final of the women's turn meter of freestyle coming down to the final 25. This is a good swim here by Brooke Miles in lane three and also over here in nine, Neve Tasica. And Neve Tasica will win the C final 204-84.
Out onto pool deck comes the B final of the women's 200 metre freestyle. Lane zero, Alyssa Tapper, one, Jajana Mazumda, two, Abby King, three, Brooke Bennett, four, Molly Shibnan, five, Bella Wansborough, six, Nina da Costa, seven, Chloe Peters, eight, Talita McEwen, nine, Pippa Nickel. Molly Shivnan, well in control of this B final, a body length clear of Bella Wansborough. And having quite a good swim out there is lane one, the visitor, Dejana Mazumda. A 20217 this morning. She touches 201 to win the B final. The visitor will take second, second to the wall for the Kiwis, Bella Wansborough, third, Brooke Bennett. And there's the result of the B finalists. Introducing now the A finalists of the women's 200 metres freestyle. Lane zero, Kira Ellett. Lane one, Laura Littlejohn. Lane two, Eva Allen. Three, Summer Osborne. Four, Erica Fairweather. Lane five, Caitlin Deans. Lane six, Emma Godwin. Seven, Ruby Heath. Eight, Milana Tapper. And lane nine, Olivia Emmett.
Erica Fairweather takes the lead down the first 25. She's followed along by Emma Godwin in lane six and Laura Littlejohn and Eva Allen in one and two. Just check out the splits here, 26.63. It'd be nice to have a New Zealand record red line running along us. You can see how we're tracking. Caitlin Deans fighting hard with uh, Emma Godwin here in five and six. And on the other side of the pool, Little John, Allen and Osborne. Erica Fairweather well out on her own in a class of her own at the front of this field. Caitlin Deans, her swim mate, sitting in second at the moment. And just see that rating from both of these uh, Swim Dunedin swimmers. And Erica Fairweather was talking about that with me in commentary about the rating. It's the rhythm and the rating of the stroke and uh, you can see that rhythmic kick at the back she was talking about. Down to the final 50 here for Erica Fairweather. Will we see a New Zealand open record? 154.24. It's going to be close. She comes into the wall. It's going to be 153.07. She's blown it away. And great times for the rest of the field. 157.03. Second for Caitlin Deans. Third goes to Osborne. 158. And uh, quite a few of those girls pretty happy with those times. Pulled along by a new New Zealand record by Erica Fairweather. And check that out. That's 1.1 seconds under the existing record held by herself. And obviously that form coming straight off the back of the World Championships, straight into our short course champs. That's great to see. And let's have a look at those results there. Second went to Deans, third to Osborne. Godwin also under two minutes. Little John improving her time from this morning. It nice to see how many, uh, how many of those women were happy with that time. I think there was a few. Here with Erica Fairweather. Now I've got the mic tonight. 1.53. Oh, wow, that was fast. Oh, yeah, I'm stoked. I mean, looking at the time, I was expecting to go 1.53 higher. Um, but to get that close to 1.52, it's like, oh, I wish it was just a little bit faster. Do you feel that just coming off, relaxing off the back of uh, Japan and sort of coming into this without too many expectations, perhaps, is just what paid off tonight? Yeah, I mean, we kind of came into here to have fun. I mean, the body's tired, the mind's tired, but we've got to keep cr cracking on. You certainly looked like the business the first 50 you tore away. Was that sort of one of your goals tonight to smash that record? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, one, uh, the old one was a PB from like a relay that we did last year at um, World Short Course. So to do it in an actual race is epic. Well, congratulations. Uh, still getting over that one. That was amazing. Well done. So that concludes uh, event number 16, the women's 200 freestyle. We're now going to have a quick break, I believe we are, and we're going to return with the 4x100m medley relay for men.
Oh, exciting stuff, that one. Those 200s, both the men and the women's final. And now we move to event 17, the men's 4 by 100 meter medley relay. There are three time finals, and this is time final number one.
It's Hamilton A taking out the first of the three time finals. They're getting faster as we go. This is the next time final. And the one after this will be the fastest seed. Coming down to the final 50 here, it is uh, the Tas Tasman Swim Club, Oxford Bailey. 
No, sorry, Tasmania in three. Samuel Nadler and Harry Renner from Aquagym. Aquablades in lane five, but it's going to be Tasmania that pips it and wins it. Well done, that concludes the second of the time finals for the 4x100 metre medley relay for men. Introducing you to the third and final time final of the men's 4x100m medley relay. Lane 0, Jazzy Swim Club A. Lane 1, North Shore Swimming Club B. Lane two, Viking Swim Club A. Three, North Shore Swimming Club A. Four, Club 37 A. Five, Coast Swimming Club A. Six, Club 37B. Seven, United Swimming Club A. Eight, ACU Blacktown Swim Club A. Nine, Pirate Swim Team A. Andrew Jeffcoat, New Zealand record holder in lane four. Nice to speak to him early. He was very serious about getting out there and doing his stretching and doing his warm up for tonight's relay. Look at this, well out in front at the moment. Sam Brown in five, Zach Dell in six. Jeffcoat, can we see a New Zealand record tonight? Perhaps inspired by Erica Fairweather. Beautiful underwater work for Jeffcoat. Zach Dell in six. Lane three, that is Cooper Morley, I think. It is. Andrew Jeffcoat for the change. Fifty point eight three, a new New Zealand record for Andrew Jeffcoat. Woo! Under fifty one for the very first time. That's quick. Josh Pickett into the water now for the breaststroke. Could this be a New Zealand record? 
Let's have a look for the 4x100. 326.68, let's keep an eye on that one. A great start for Club 37 with a New Zealand record for Jeff Coat. Josh Pickett pushing it hard through this breaststroke leg. Club 37B coming second. North Shore A in third. Fourth is Coast. Carter Swift lines up for the butterfly leg. Carter Swift, can he take his team through to a New Zealand record over this relay? Jack Hendy in six. Sam Kenny for Coast. McAllister Clark for North Shore. North Shore starting to come through for second over Club 37B. Michael Pickett lines up for the freestyle. Carter Swift gutsing it through this 100 metres butterfly. He won the 50 butterfly earlier tonight. He times it right. Here goes Pickett. Michael Pickett coming through. These swimmers just dodging the rest of them as they go through. And a 22-2-6 down the first 50. He's firing. The New Zealand record held at 326.68. And they're outside of that, but they're going to do a great time and win this event. 330.28. North Shore collects second. Club 37B comes back for the bronze. Coast will take fourth. Vikings fifth. And a great team effort for Club 37. And that is the third time final of the, me the men's uh, 4x100 metre medley relay. We'll have a chat to Club 37, the overall winner of that event through the three time finals. Well, what a powerhouse, uh, powerhouse swim, guys. Uh, set off by an amazing swim, Andrew. 50.8 must uh, make amazing, right? Yeah, pretty stoked with it. I was after that um, sometime at the meet, so pretty happy to get it done on the second day. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, I ordered the boys bring me home for a national championship. That's, that's, that's pretty special. Fantastic, Everett. You guys look like powerhouses out there. Uh, great to see two Club 37 teams. Your, your other team came third as well, so that's awesome effort. Uh, and the brothers here doing it for the team. Carter, 100 Butterfly, winning the 50 earlier tonight. Good good job. Thank you very much. Yeah, 100 Fly's not in my repertoire typically, but I like to do it for the boys. Certainly look like you pulled through. Well, well done, Club 37. A title for you in the relay. Congratulations. Straight on to the next event on the program. It is event 18, the women's 4x100 metre medley relay. There are two time finals, and this is time final number one.
ACU Blacktown, Kaylin Tweedy uh, wins, winning this uh, first of two time finals. Chasing is Tasman Swim Club A and Aquagym in three. Samantha Wilson for Tasman, Ava Renner for Aquagym. Well done to the girls in our first time final there. And we'll be introducing your A finalists very shortly.
Introducing the A final teams. Zero, Tasmania A. Lane one, Neptune Swim Club A. Two, Mount Monganui Swimming Club A. Lane three, Hamilton Aquatics A. Four, United Swim Club A. Five, Coast Swimming Club A. Six, North Shore Swim Club A. Seven, Faranui Swim Club A. Aquablades A are in eight. Jazzy Swim Club A in nine. New Zealand record holder Helena Gasson in lane five for Coast A. She wasn't too far off this record in the event yesterday. She leads the way, lane two, sitting in second, Molly Shibnan for Mount Monganui. Third is anyone's at the moment. Shibnan doing a good job here in lane two for her team. And lane one, Neptune going well. A solid hit out for Helena Gasson to kick off her team. Zalika Pratt-Smith, the 200 breaststroke champion, leads them through the first length of the breaststroke. Zoe Pedersen is next up for the 100 metres butterfly. Melissa Cowan for North Shore A, Gina McCarthy for Hamilton Aquatics in three. Still a three body length lead for Coast at the moment. Hamilton Aquatics now sit in second, North Shore A in third. <laughs> Zoe Pedersen for Coast A in lane five.
Lily Humphreys in the water now for Coast A. Lane four, United Swimming Club coming up into third. And Lily Humphreys coming down to win for Coast Swimming Club. Well done, 4.06.21, great time. Hamilton Aquatics takes the silver, United the bronze. North Shore A will take fourth, Tasmania fifth. It was Mount Monganui then Neptune. Congratulations to all the girls taking part in the relays tonight. Thank you to our technical officials. That concludes the racing for tonight. Thanks for your time and attention. Zylika so Pratt-Smith, uh, great swim there to come off. A very fast 100 backstroke from uh, Helena and into, you were, you were the champion of the turn of breast, so we knew you were going to really power it. Yeah, um, I've been working, working on my speed a lot, so, yeah. It was a good start, and then uh, girl Zoe, 100 butterfly, bringing it through, and then Lily, how did it feel to be that far ahead when you were taking off? It was definitely a relief, but overall, good race. Must be nice to be part of a, a national winning team. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Well, well done to all of you and congratulations on your win tonight. We'll be back after this short break for a quick wrap of tonight's final session and then we'll get into the medals. Well, it's been a short night tonight, but no shortage of action. Uh, and we started tonight with Asher Smith Franklin, again, breaking his New Zealand record in the 50 metres butterfly in the S14 class. 26.8, first time under 27. I've never seen him smash the water like that at the end. He looked wrapped. Ariel Machirahondo, New Zealand age group record in the 400 IM. He was mixing it with the big boys, but from lane two or three, you get that 428. 400 IM breaking that 16 year old New Zealand age group record. Lovely to catch up with him afterwards as well. Erica Fairweather, 153.0 in the 200 metres freestyle. She broke her own New Zealand record. She, she got last December by over one second, which is just incredible over a 200 metre freestyle. And she, yeah, I think we're going to see some great things from her this week. Ben Littlejohn, just. 0.01 of a second to win the 200 metre freestyle tonight over Zach Reed. That was an extremely exciting race. And then finishing off, kicking off the relay, Andrew Jeffcoat. First time under 51, first time anyone under 51. New New Zealand record for the men's 100 metre backstroke. What a great night. We'll be back after this break for the medal ceremonies.
Apollo Projects is New Zealand's trusted specialist for the design and construction of sports, aquatics and education centres and is proud to be the principal sponsor of Swimming New Zealand. Well, welcome back. We're not far away from kicking off the medal ceremony to finish this evening's session. It is the 200 metre freestyle and uh, I think we're about ready to go. Just getting the, the A-OK -okay from our team down there at the ceremony uh, podium. The dais. Well, we're going to see, as we spoke to Erica Fairweather last night, she's doing the 200, I think she's doing the 100, the 200, the 400, the 800 metre freestyle. She's obviously done the 200. So it would be fantastic to see her form continue and collect a few more New Zealand records this week while she's in this great form. We'll get underway now. Third place in the men's open 200 metre freestyle, Zach Dell, 146.27. Presented by Mitch Nairn, the head coach of Club 37. Silver, Zach Reed, 145.15 from Neptune. And winning the gold medal, Ben Littlejohn, 145.14. Moving now to the next ceremony, the women's 200 metre freestyle. Bronze, Summer Osborne, 158.92. Just coming on to the dais now. Silver, Caitlin Deans, 157.03 from Neptune. And in a new New Zealand record time of 153.07, Erica Fairweather wins gold, Neptune Swim Club. <laughs> Starting next up, the 4x100 metre medley men's relay. Third equal, Coast Swimming Club A and Club 37 B. Nice to have Mitch Nairn presenting with two of his clubs on the uh, dais tonight. So third, both Club 37B and Coast Swimming Club A. This is going to be interesting, trying to get eight guys on that small platform. Not often you get a dead heat. No, oh, it's a visitor. It's a visitor team, that's why. North Shore A win the silver, Cooper Morley, Blair Helms, McAllister Clark and Louis Clark. And winning the gold, Club 37 A, Andrew Jeffcoat, Josh Pickett, Carter Swift, Michael Pickett, with Andrew Jeffcoat breaking the New Zealand record for the 100 metres backstroke on the way through. The obligatory kiss on the forehead for coach Mitch Nairn. Presented the void, got nothing there. Well done to the boys in the 4x100 metre medley relay. And a good, good lot of them there. Moving now to the women's 4x100 metre medley relay medal presentation. Bronze medal, United Swimming Club A.
Amelia Duff, Abby Davidson, Grace Bake, Eva Allen. Silver going to Hamilton Aquatics A, 1468. Pippa Mihaka, Gina McCarthy, Chloe Peters, Olivia Emmett. And winning Coast Swimming Club A, Helena Gasson, Zalika Pratt-Smith, Zoe Pedersen, Lily Humphreys. Thank you to All Proof Industries, our medal ceremony sponsor, and Mitch Nairn, head coach of Club 37. Well done to all of our medalists this evening for tonight's final session. It's been an action-packed one, full of New Zealand records and age group records. Having a look at tomorrow's program there. Two hundred meter backstroke will kick off with the then the hundred meters butterfly, followed by the fifty breaststroke, and then we've got the four hundred freestyle for men, then the two hundred freestyle for multi class men, four hundred freestyle for women, followed by the two hundred freestyle multi class for women. So do join us from eight thirty tomorrow morning, and thanks for joining us tonight.